Right, so in a previous blog we talked about the dangers of bones, especially to dogs that are not used to eating bones. Um, but as a general principle, uh, we recognize that dogs are carnivores and part of the whole carnivore thing is eating meat off bones and eating bones. And in the natural state, this is what dogs do and cats for that matter as well. Um, so trying to get as close to mother nature as possible, we do advocate bones for dogs. However, there are a few ifs and buts. The one is if your dog is not used to eating bones, then don't offer them a marrow bone. Educate them in the process of bone eating. Um, and, and, and that process is done very slowly and starting off with cartilage type bones, for instance, uh, pig's ears, rabbit's ears, bovine trick ears. And after a couple of months of that, then grading up to softer bones like turkey necks, duck necks, uh, chicken wings, um, duck wings. I have to put in a, a, a warning at this stage, um, a strong warning that all bones fed to all dogs must be raw, that bones must absolutely not be cooked. The reason is because cooked bones become brittle, they splinter, and we do see a lot of problems associated with, uh, with dogs eating cooked, splintered bones. So, but so long as the bones are not cooked, then the bones are uh, easily digested by, uh, by the stomach uh, acids. Um, so, Introducing a dog to bone, uh, a dog to bones. Do it slowly. Start with the cartilage bones, grade up to the softer bones, um, and finally, after nine to twelve months of practice, um, go for the marrow bones. But when, if the question is when should I introduce my dog to bones? Really, the answer is at the very earliest opportunity, and that means if you're if you're interested in a raw meat diet for your puppy, absolutely go for it. Offer your your puppy bones, but I would also suggest that uh, we start with the softer bones, even for pups that are already on a raw diet. Start with the, the chicken wings, start with the duck wings, start with the uh, turkey necks, um, um, start with the pig's ears, the rabbit ears, and so on. And as they lose their baby teeth and develop, um, you know, their, their proper dentition, and as they grow older and stronger, then finally grade them up to, uh, to marrow bones. But the, 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 the nutritional value of bones cannot be overstated. But also um, just the psychological aspect, because if you look at you know, dogs' behavior in the natural state, once they've um, made their kill, they will spend hours and hours over the carcass eating the meat, but then also uh, devouring the bones and um, there's a certain um, sort of psychological and intellectual connection um, that occurs with with eating you know eating the meat off the bones they get a lot of pleasure and satisfaction um, out of that process so as far as we can we want to try to replicate that in our domestic species as well